compassion in the name of Jesus the son of the living God hallelujah father visit us tonight in the name of Jesus you call this a miracle service let it answer to its name in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah if your name is Stephen and we say Stephen and you don't answer it tells us something is wrong with you the Bible says whatsoever Adam called it that was the name thereof so if God says it's your season of lifting and you call it by faith it should answer if God says this is your season of open doors the same way if I call you and I say come you come even the dead came when he said Lazarus he came forth let me speak to you in the name of Jesus that everything that must come into your life tonight there is no power in existence that will stop it from coming in the name of Jesus Christ I believe in the gospel of power I truly believe in the power of the Holy Spirit Christianity is just a discussion of fables without the power of the Holy Spirit the difference is the power of God hallelujah we need the power of God especially over the issues that plague men in today's world enough of discussions we need the power of God to heal to deliver to change lives we need the power of God we need the power of God we will keep giving vain explanations until the power of God is introduced pray one prayer father let your power be revealed in and through my life tonight please be serious pray whether you are outside you are following online let your power be revealed in my life you are a man of God pray an encounter with power tonight let your power be revealed in and through my life you came here in need of a touch from God there's no distance in the spirit connecting from your home connecting online connecting by way of television let your power be revealed in my life in the name of Jesus Christ for someone tonight God will surpass your expectations in the name of Jesus let your faith rise tonight you have come to the God of heaven and he will not disappoint you in Jesus name I pray please be seated gloriously in God's presence it's always a joy to have us around and for all who are worshiping with us for the first time across the nations and in this place I welcome you in the name of Jesus Amen. sit back with joy and watch the wonder walking power of Jesus the wonder walking power of Jesus this power to save his power to heal his power to deliver this God we serve is a mighty God please convince yourself that you are not hearing a lie this God we serve is a mighty God it does not take him too long overnight like it is tonight God can turn someone's story completely in the name of Jesus Christ this is not a preacher's gibberish believe me when I tell you this God can come to you I know we are many but don't forget that when he deals with us he can come to you many people have phone lines but when they call you everybody's phone does not ring it is yours that rings in spite of the fact that there are many phone lines when I dial your number it does not call another number in the name of Jesus Christ now I'll give a very short charge and then I'll begin to pray the charge will help us to receive maximally 
there are many believers who need to be taught how to receive you see if you're not taught how to receive god can be in a place mighty things can be happening and yet you may not receive it is very important that we open up ourselves to scripture and understand how god operates one scripture and then we'll begin to pray by the way let me start by saying this while i prayed and prepared for this meeting even before today god is going to be visiting us across several areas but there are four major areas that came to me by revelation and god told me these are the core areas he's going to be dealing with tonight number one restoration of spiritual fire this the lord told me there are people who will come in need of restoration number two healing i know we're going to be ministering deliverance but tonight god wants to heal he truly heals the area of healing number three is the area of stagnation this came to me by revelation stagnation means that something pegs you at a level and you do not make progress consistent with the investment of your efforts and then number four god tonight wants to break by prophecy financial limitations so there are many things that God would do, but I'm announcing this to you as it came to me by revelation so that we'll connect by faith. Are we still together? First Corinthians chapter one, we'll start our reading from verse 18. Paul is teaching the church in Corinth and he gives an instruction that we need to learn. He says, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Please pay attention. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Next verse. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? It's a question, 21 for after that in the wisdom of god the world by wisdom knew not god it pleased god by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe 22 for the jews require a sign and the greeks seek after wisdom but we preach christ crucified unto the jews a stumbling block and to the Greeks foolishness uh-huh but unto them that are called both Jews and Greeks Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God take note of 24 we're coming there because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men go to verse 24 please it says but unto them who are called both Jews and Greeks. Christ is the power of God and Christ is the wisdom of God. Please pay attention. The word Christ comes from the word Christos. It means the anointed one, which is Jesus Christ principally, but it also means the anointing the anointed one revealing himself together with his anointing that is the word christ so principally is a name for jesus but it also extends to all who are anointed with the spirit are we together remember the bible says the kingdoms of this world revelations 11 15 are become the kingdoms of our god and of we his christ and he shall reign forever are we together so back to first corinthians 1 and verse 24 it was a revelation god gave me that will guide our receiving tonight the bible says when the anointing of god christ and his anointing is revealed in the midst of his people it operates in two dimensions number one there are people who the anointing will be revealed to as the power of God. But there are others the anointing will be revealed to as the wisdom 
of God. That both dimensions of revelation is still Christ. Are we together? There are problems that people have in their life that require the power of God head on. For instance, attacks of darkness. For instance, situations that need to be corrected supernaturally. For such, you don't need any counseling. You do not need any discussion. There has to be an encounter with the supernatural power of God. But there are other situations that require the wisdom of God. Not just the power of God. The Bible says when Christ is revealed, he is revealed in the midst of his people as the power of God, but also as the wisdom of God. So there are people you came here tonight and what you need is the anointing but revealed as the wisdom of God. God begins to give you insight as to what you need to do to provide answers to the needs that you have. Many issues in our lives, I wrote here, require the power of God. Many issues. They require the power of God to supernaturally correct unfavorable conditions. Health conditions, for instance, demonic conditions, for instance, would always require the power of God to supernaturally correct those conditions. The Bible is full of conditions that were changed supernaturally by the power of God. But there are many other situations that require the wisdom of God. That means you must understand the principles of the kingdom are located for that result you desire. This is very important. If you do not understand this, it may be difficult to receive maximally. That means in a meeting like this, you can find people falling under the anointing. You can find people receiving things, a divine touch from God. And usually people stand up and wonder, what now happened to me? Why did I fall, for instance? Why is my body shaking? Why is this supernatural experience happening? And many people return back and cannot discern what just happened. The Bible says when the anointing, when Christ is revealed, he comes to some as the power of God, but he comes to some as the wisdom of God. There are people as you fall under that anointing, you don't have to fall, but I'm saying for instance, if that happens to you, you can stand up and what happened to you was the light of God the solution to your problem just came to you just because you fell does not mean it's a demon going out you can stand up from that experience and supernatural insight as to what to do christ as the wisdom of god christ as the power of god many times when we come for meetings like this People just focus on the charismatic dimensions of the dealings of God and people fall, they rise, they cry, they shout and they return back and do not know what to do with these experiences. Paul is giving us an explanation right now that every time you see the anointing, the Holy Spirit and his anointing moving in the midst of his people, Christ is being revealed to some the power of of God to correct unfavorable conditions but to some he's bringing you impartation of grace and knowledge for instance we're dealing with issues here of financial limitation you can see that um, there are people for instance who it is just a demonic thing no matter what they do they cannot rise they cannot experience that dimension of the glory of God for such people, you need the anointing to come as the power that breaks that yoke. Are you seeing now? But there are many people who have been, they do not have the wisdom to make correct financial decisions. The anointing will still come to them. But it will now come as the wisdom of God. You will hear something through the word. While we are ministering, you will hear something all of us are not hearing. And that becomes the grace you will go back from this miracle service, for instance, with a grace to now begin to walk in keeping with the principles that make for increase. The anointing still came to you. Because most people don't know what to do with the anointing. 
and so when we receive when we shout amen receive the anointing receive grace amen some fall some cry some shout some roll and you know all kinds of things happen to people and at the end of it we stand up we dust ourselves we share the grace and we go back and sadly many do not finish up that process to receive the testimony desired first corinthians 1 24 let's look at that scripture again but to them which are called say i am called one more time say i am called how do you know you are called acts chapter 2 from verse 39 i believe acts chapter 2 for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off even as many as the lord our god shall call we didn't just come we were called so i know that i am called and the bible says those who he called he for knew he predestined god called me called me to reveal his glory called me to reveal his grace and the bible says when that anointing comes upon the called it is christ revealed as the power of god christ revealed as the wisdom of god is someone learning so that when we begin to pray your heart is expectant and it does not mean he has to reveal himself as the power or the wisdom he can reveal himself as both that should be your prayer that lord you come to me as your wisdom and your power wisdom to rise and to reign wisdom to rule let me show you something about the power and the excellency of wisdom proverbs chapter 8 let's start from verse 1 very quickly so we can begin to pray doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice verse 2 she standed in the top of the high places by the way in the places of the paths she cried at the gate wisdom now at the entry of the city this is already a revelation wisdom has gone to the city before you and she's crying from the city and coming in at all the doors verse 4 unto you O men i call and my voice is to the sons of man oh ye simple simple there means void of understanding understand wisdom O oh, ye fools be ye of an understanding heart hear for i will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right thing wisdom now is speaking my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination unto my lips it says all the words of my mouth are in righteousness there is nothing forward or perverse in them verse 9 they are all in plain to him that understandeth, and write to them that findeth knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver. Do you know what this is saying? Wisdom is saying if they keep me here and they keep silver, make no mistake to choose silver. When you choose me, you have chosen more than silver. Look at the power of wisdom. And knowledge rather than choice gold for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared with her you have to pause here and think of all the things you desire i desire a house i desire a car i desire to move from a tenant to a landlord and wisdom is saying these things are mundane compared to the power you have when you have me that means for the many prayer requests you have written 10 15 8 9 of them wisdom is saying if you choose me all of those things will no longer become requests 12 we we'll find somewhere to stop i wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions 13 it says the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do i hate 14 counsel is mine and sound wisdom i am understanding i have strength so wisdom is not weak by me now wisdom is speaking kings here does not just mean the male royalty 
that means if it is true that the bible has made you royalty that we are a kingdom of priests he's saying if you want to reign in life you will need me and by me princes decree justice 16 it says by me princes rule and nobles even all the judges of the earth i love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me riches and honor this is what i'm looking for riches and honor are with me so when you want to withdraw your money you go to an atm you don't need the atm really but because the atm contains something that you need is that true you go to the atm and slot in a card type whatever you need to type and it brings out cash physical cash you hold it there so he's saying riches and honor are with me the same way money is inside an atm wisdom is saying when you come there is riches and honor you know what honor is honor means to be perceived to match your true worth when you are honored it means that men give you the credit and the perception that truly matches your worth your sacrifice and even surpasses it in many respects it is possible to be a noble person and yet not have honor on your life and you will be perceived far below your true worth are we together yes when god brings you honor he lifts you to match your sacrifice he lifts you to match your knowledge he lifts you to match your level of spiritual investment and will even surpass it for you he says riches and honor are with me yea lasting riches that come with righteousness let 19 be the last verse it says my fruit is better than gold than fine gold and my revenue the salary that i pay you is more than choice silver say wisdom christ revealed as the wisdom of god my dear people listen to me when the wisdom of god truly lands upon your life right from where you are you will begin to rise in a way that will first surprise you before it surprises everybody around you the assignment of wisdom is to dress you with the robe of royalty there is something called the grave clothes i hope you know that let me show you john 11 44 43 and 44 let's look at it john chapter 11 this was lazarus when jesus called lazarus to come forth out of the grave the bible says when he had thus spoken he cried out with a loud voice lazarus come forth look at verse 44 the bible says and he that was dead came forth read the remaining part with me bound hand and foot with grave clothes hold on it would have just said with clothes there are clothes that belong to the grave there are clothes that belong to failure situations have their garments that you can wear upon you you can dress in a way that you don't have to tell me you're a military man i know you're a military man you can dress in a way that i know you are a lawyer you can dress in a way that i know you are an engineer you can dress in a way every profession has clothes the bible says even the grave has clothes grave clothes failure has garments do you not believe this that he can give them beauty for ashes is that true the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified the assignment of wisdom is to come to you like Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins in the book of esther and wisdom will begin to dress you you came from a background with grave clothes failure clothes delay clothes that means i don't need to ask what your situation is i just need to look at what you are wearing 
you can wear honor like a garment you can wear shame like a garment you can wear delay like a garment you can wear poverty like a garment believe me i'm not just motivating you it is true i can look at your life and i see a display of the honor the beauty the order of god and i can look at your life and i see that everything there is just ashes you are wearing certain clothes let me tell you the assignment of wisdom when the anointing of the spirit comes it took power to bring lazarus out of the grave but he told the man he said walk to him lose him give us 44. the bible says jesus said to them my power has been displayed now in his coming out of the grave but if you leave him that way he is out of the grave but he's still in trouble because his hands and his feet were tied and a garment was on him he said lose him walk to him use order and principles to walk to him lose him and let him go the power of god can bring you healing the power of god can bring you deliverance but it takes the wisdom of God to lose you from that shackle of shame, financial shame, whatever. There is something you must know. Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. Please give it to us. You want to see the manifestation of the power and the glory of God. Read with me, Koinonia. Ready? One to read. And Moses said, uh -huh, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you there is what you must know there is what you must do and then you will see the glory of god financially you will see the glory of god in every area of your life when a rich man came to jesus he asked a question he said good master what must i do that's a responsible man speaking i know that I will, it, it, something will be required of me and Jesus told him, no, no, no. When it has to do with the matters of salvation, it's not just about doing things. Good master, what is my own commitment? What do I need to learn? What do I need to know? What do I need to do to be saved? While we are praying, you must pray and cry to the God of heaven to show you what you need to do. For some of you, while the word of God is coming with fire, the spirit of God will speak to you. I told you last year, go and register that company. You've been sitting in fear. Your destiny helper has been waiting in prophecy. But the courage to go and register the company. Now he tells you what to do. And remember like Mary, whatsoever he saith to do, do it. You know the risk of filling six pots? with water and then fetching it the power of god will turn the water to wine but there are principles you need to fill the pots put order put everything and then now go and start serving when christ is revealed in the midst of his people he is revealed as the power of god the power to break yokes the power to change conditions is that true but he's also revealed as the wisdom of God. I can tell you this. The problem is usually not with the power of God. The problem is that most people do not know how to access the wisdom of God and put it to use. Doth not wisdom cry. When wisdom cries towards your direction tonight, don't ignore it. Just in search for power. If the anointing comes to you as wisdom, it is still God visiting you. If the anointing comes to you as power, it is still God visiting you. You must open up your spirit. Don't choose the power of God and ignore the wisdom of God. And don't choose the wisdom of God and ignore the power of God. Christ revealed among them that are called. He comes as the power of God. And he comes as the wisdom of God. When you read the next chapter, it tells you about the hidden wisdom of God that was reserved for our glory the hidden wisdom then it says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit why because they are spiritually discerned 
the scriptures before verse 24 tells us that God has decided to use foolish things. Foolish things there mean weak things. Because you see, when you are accessing the wisdom of God, it will come with instructions and principles that don't make sense. For instance, go around Jericho seven times and shout. It is the foolishness of the ways of God. For instance, there is he that scattered and increased. It is the wisdom of God. This is the danger of over dependence on principles and philosophies of men because sometimes when god comes to you it will be a simple principle there are times here you tell you hear me tell you shout you know jesus it does not make sense you think on my own i would want to make intelligent people to just shout like that but that is what he gives there are times i can tell you be quiet instrumentalist you be quiet just do your thing it is the wisdom of god there is a relationship between the wisdom of god and the power of god it is christ that brings it for some of you you have been chasing the power alone and god is telling you you are doing well but in addition to that you must access the wisdom of god You need order and beauty and glory in your life. It is important for you to understand that the wisdom of God must be at work in you. By me, kings reign and princes rule. With me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. God revealed this to me, and so I know that there are many people here you came here for miracle service to visit you do you know i found out that most people's problems out of every three people two is financial is their financial issues are we together either some kind of maybe financial constraint financial limitations and we, we don't shy away from these things any responsible ministry must be responsive to the realities of the times you can see what is happening around our nation and generally around the globe. It is a risk to not have the wisdom of God that provides for financial stability. And don't you let anyone tell you it is not necessary. There are people today who only God knows how many people found their way to this place. There are people probably, you, you've heard people testify here and they can tell you I gave everything, I didn't have anything. You can imagine that kind of risk. Imagine a father with his wife and three or four or five children completely clueless as to where the next meal will come from and yet that man gave his life to christ no as that anointing comes upon you tonight don't just expect it's not just about witches and wizards christ the wisdom of god coming to you when the wisdom of god comes to you it speaks it tells you what to do the bible says the labor of the foolish weary yet every one of them why because they do not know the road to the city just because you are confused does not mean the road has been closed the road is there but until you find out christ has come tonight ladies and gentlemen please hear me he has come as a supernatural bailout system it's up to you to open up your heart and say lord i believe Let me wrap up by saying this again for emphasis wisdom can decorate huh. let me show you a scripture i shared in just this morning or was it yesterday and i can't remember i think it was this morning i just want to show you something very powerful esther chapter 6 i just thought to show you an example of what god is doing to someone and doing over someone's life may that be you on that night give it to us six verse one on that night what night the night listen listen this was the night mordecai was visited the night to his downfall do you know that haman had planned that by the next day they've built the gallows already her man was on his way to ask for permission that by the morrow by the morrow Mordecai will be gone and the Bible says that night I know that tomorrow is when your landlord is coming but this night leave tomorrow 
tomorrow is when they give you the last chance over whatever it is but this night the bible says on that night his destiny helper could not sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king too and it was found written may it be found written about you listen i hope you know it was not the king that wrote this the king is just hearing what was written that means the person who would have written it if he forgot to write it there will be no nothing like that that calls for reward he found where it was written it always starts with what is written that mordecai had told of bigthana and teresh two of the king's chamberlains these were wicked men who wanted to kill the king and mordecai revealed it and then they they you know they destroyed them and all of that the keepers of the door who sought to lay hand on king ahasuerus verse 3 and the king said what honor and dignity has been done to mordecai for this he was part of my success he was a system of rescue for me but what has happened to him i told you that honor is when you are perceived to match your true worth this was a man who was a deliverer but not rewarded to match that now the king is saying what honor had been done the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing done for him verse 4 and the king said who is in the court guess who was there a man god can use anything including her man when god is determined to bless you he can play the even enemies like a chest to put things together and now robe you with honor listen the part i want you to focus on is everything that was done to mordecai because in the name of jesus the lord will make it happen in your life yeah. give us that scripture let's hurry up now Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house why to speak unto the king to hang mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him very wicked man he was so sure the king would give him permission that he had built the gallows in advance so that as soon as the permission is there nothing will stop do you know the king when you read the previous verses the king the, her man said every time they gave him honor he was happy but anytime he's passing and he sees mordecai at the gate you say this man is still here The king's servant said, Behold, her man standeth in the court, and he said, Let him come in. Watch this now. So her man came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? May that be me tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. The king delighted to honor. The king delighted to honor. Now her man thought in his heart, Look at this evil man. To whom would the king delight to do honor more than to myself? He's about to describe something that will happen to you tonight. And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighted to honor, do the following. Number one, let the royal apparel be brought which the king used to wear. Even though he desired this out of an evil heart. But God showed us that he's not afraid and ashamed to let us carry that same robe. A robe of royalty to wear. Number two. The horse that the king rided upon. Go and study ancient history. You will find out that the best of the trained horses were for the kings. The horse. When you ride on a horse and someone walks afoot. The difference will be clear. The horse that the king rided upon and a royal crown which set upon his head. Verse 9. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of the one who the king or of the king's most noble princes that they will array that man. <laughs> Look at this. They said he should take him on horseback to the streets of the city. Everybody say influence the streets of the city and proclaim before him toss shall be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor verse 10 
And the king said to Haman, Make haste and take the apparel and the horse that thou hast said, and do even so to Joshua Selman. Hmm. Yes, he came from a background that may not be anything to write home about. I know he sits at the gate, but still do him the honor. He, he does not qualify for it, not by his background. I have spoken. Do him that honor. And he said, let nothing fail of all that has been spoken. Does that look to you like Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2? The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound over the nations of the earth hallelujah Listen, do you know when the wisdom of God comes upon your life, the wisdom of God can turn you. I've seen some of my pictures, you know, I don't like looking at them, but I've seen some of my interesting pictures. I remember how impressed I was with myself at the time I snapped that picture. And I am surprised to see the contrast. I believed I dressed well. I believed that the tailor was fair on me I believed I was at my best I still remember how confident I felt snapping those pictures but now looking at those things today sometimes I wonder and I say my God that something can happen to you today it will take a telescope to look at your yesterday by me king's reign a robe of honor upon you for someone you came for this miracle service tonight you are out of the grave but your hands and your feet are still bound with grave clothes i don't know how many of you would like to give such a person a hug there are madmen all around our cities and some of them dress in ways that you wonder how they dressed who dress them that way and sometimes they come to you with joy even wanting to shake you why do you run away at least it's god's creature why are you running away from the person you don't run away from animals like that but here is somebody in the image of god that you're running away because there's something about his dressing if a madman wears suit and tie puts a nice perfume and is still mad you most likely will not run away because it does not look mad is that true so one of the ways you identify problems is by what you are wearing you can wear a garment that drives every good thing from your life please hear me it is possible that a garment is upon you that makes people forget you it is possible that a garment is upon you it says remove the grave clothes lose him and let him go I didn't bring him out to keep him at the door of the tomb. I want him to go. He is out by power, but it will take wisdom to lose him and let him go. Is someone ready to pray? Jump up on your feet and cry unto the Lord. Reveal your glory in my life as the power of God and as the wisdom of God. Please go ahead and pray. Some like Lazarus would need to be called forth from one dimension to the other from failure to victory from defeat to success but there are others who are already out but you need the know-how to remove the grave clothes you need to know what to do go ahead and pray reveal yourself oh god in the name of Jesus Christ, reveal yourself.
are you praying as the wisdom of god they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course wisdom tells you what to do and it works closely with understanding that tells you how to do there is always something to do You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are mighty, so mighty in your way. You are mighty, you're mighty in your way. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are mighty, you are mighty. I was very very humbled I always am broken when I hear of the sacrifices that people make for every service from as early as 8 9 10 there were people already here some of you have been here since morning inside outside everywhere enduring some of you have not even eaten just to encounter the God of heaven do you really believe that God will keep you that long just to share the grace and go back. No. Hello, him, Adonai. Hello, him, Adonai. Hello, him, Adonai. Hello, him, Adonai. the power of the most high revealed in the midst of his people the wisdom and the grace of this God hallelujah hallelujah we're going to start tonight with the sick i really want to minister to the sick listen let me tell you this the healing ministry is a very cardinal cardinal validator of the gospel the healing ministry remove the healing ministry from the gospel um you have reduced its potency by a very serious degree you read the bible 
everywhere the communication of the truth of the gospel everywhere you find the message of the gospel or the communication of the doctrine you find the healing ministry everywhere jesus is revealed you find the healing ministry please look up let me tell you something about the healing ministry why does god heal for many reasons one of them being that there is no human being who has been given the privilege of entering two bodies in a lifetime as benevolent as god is he can replace parts in the body but we do not have any record of anyone who le who left one whose spirit was extracted out of one body completely organs have been transplanted within the same organism everyone is given one body per lifetime one body per lifetime satan knowing this you don't receive forgiveness only once you don't receive mercy only once but this body the moment you are born that body remains with you and if anything happens to that body you have lost your chance of continuity as far as the earth is concerned are we together there is no record in scripture and there is no record as we know in history science has not come close to extracting a human spirit out of a body and transferring it into another body the only person who wanted to do that was satan himself when he was looking for the body of moses when moses died he wanted his body so that a demon could enter that body and he will create a a false moses and michael stopped him and said the lord that means this is not is not permitted the lord rebuke you listen to me bodies matter ask satan what he was looking for in a dead body the body of moses moses had died and satan said i am still interested in the body so everything that afflicts you is ministering death in a measure to you satan's ultimate goal in sickness and affliction is to break help to help those under the anointing to deteriorate your body now listen i have taught you here that there is a threshold health condition for your spirit to live in your body when your body is broken and deteriorated beyond that level the spirit will no longer be able to stay and the spirit will have to live in a process called death even in resurrection the spirit still enters the same body the only time bodies will change is when the king himself makes that decree and this body will be changed from one that is corrupted to one incorruptible this is what the bible teaches us but that until then you have a responsibility to protect your body we protect our bank accounts more than our bodies we protect our cars a vehicle that can have an accident and you can save and buy another one but the one body most of us are using more than one cars multiple cars and you keep changing them even if nothing is wrong you are just tired of that body of a car you change another one but when this body goes bad so satan knows this everywhere god will take you is this body that will take your spirit so when jesus heals he's making a very serious statement how does he heal by correcting faulty conditions medical doctors will tell us that a man is as healthy as his organs his tissues and satan would start afflicting those things one by one we have all kinds of systems biology and medicine teaches us and most of us here it's possible that you have one medical report or the other that is threatening you an organ in your body some kind of condition i want you to believe to heal means to introduce the power of god like a drug listen you know medicine really teaches us how healing works when you pick a drug say you have headache and you pick paracetamol or anything you don't have to tell the drug where to go to 
your job is to swallow it is that true when you swallow it whatever happens at that point is none of your business again the drugs goes to your body and you know that the drug is working by looking out for changes in your body there are some of you when you swallow some drugs you start sweating you feel sleepy there are certain drugs they say eat before taking it they, are, you, you know, they give all kinds of conditions but when that drug enters your body it begins to walk the pharmacology of that drug has already been predetermined by those who those who have designed it yours is to swallow it and watch the wonder a tiny piece of whatever it is and you swallow and it begins to do all kinds of things and sometimes medicine has advanced now to encourage us when they want to market certain products they animate the way the drugs destroy those germs have you seen those kinds of things if they want to market soap they show children with jams on their faces and then they show the mother bathing the child and you watch what that soap the 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 you know the, what they call them now the active ingredients what it does to those jams that's the same way the anointing works when the anointing enters your body you don't have to say go to my head or go to my hand you're placing your hand there just as a point of contact for your own faith not to encourage the anointing the anointing knows what to do the anointing starts searching for what does not look like the garden of eden it goes to your head everything is fine it goes to your heart and finds out that the devil is trying to put a hole in your heart let me tell you what it does the same power that raised lazarus the same power that raised christ from the dead is administered to that body and listen there are times that certain bodily parts have been so deteriorated you will need a new one and a new one can come Lazarus had died for three days. We're all intelligent people. If you die for three days, there's something called embalmment. Is that true? And let me tell you, the way they used to embalm people those days, even if you are pretending you must die, if they embalm you that way. You, you saw how they tied the man. If you're acting and, and playing games and they are done embalming you, you must die. They cover everywhere from head to toe. So they, they, they cannot, you can't doubt that Lazarus died. And yet, you think that some of the organs had not packed up and failed? Blood was not flowing in that body. And yet when the master said, Lazarus, Kala Paru Siata. The same way in the name of Jesus, we are going to be making decrees. Now, hear me. When the word of the Lord comes for your healing, you have two responsibilities. Number one, to believe in Jesus and to believe in the vessel that he's using. Number two, to take a step of faith. What is a step of faith? Actions of obedience. The Bible says, as they went, not when they wanted to go. Go and show yourself to the priest. That was suicidal. If they ever appeared before the priest leprous, they would be banished forever. As they went. That means when the power of God comes, if you couldn't walk, you have to take a step of faith remember acts chapter 3 silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus rise up and walk the bible says the man sat down and was watching and he held his hand and lifted him and he leaping stood if you lay your hands and they pray and you're just watching you most likely may not receive anything you receive by faith and you begin to check yourself it's a condition that you need to run to the medical stand to ask them to check you oh I, I came with hiv and the word has come i need to go there to check my blood pressure for instance is whatever over, over whatever the most important thing is that report is not good i need this change and once they pray you don't sit down and say i believe please check this for me you see let me tell you medicine and the supernatural were not designed to be enemies medicine confirms the supernatural that's why you don't fight doctors those who fight doctors to show that they are powerful are in ignorance doctors are symbols of god's mercy medicine if you are truly healed science will confirm it if you are healed of hiv or cancer or whatever it is um it is the medical confirmation that validates to us that the power of god has really come but to believe 
that the power of God cannot correct bodily conditions is to insult the resurrection power. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. We had such profound, phenomenal miracles in Joss. Um, yesterday, particularly during the miracle service, it was such a humbling move of the Spirit of God. You can do well to watch the video for your own personal edification. I believe that it should be on our Koinonia Global page or so. Just watch it and learn. It's not just to show that a man of God is powerful, especially for those of you who are in ministry. There's something about watching to see the power of God on display. These are not some gimmicks that you're playing games. No. It's one thing to be healed at home and come and testify. But it's another thing to testify real time. Are we together? You can go to a shop, for instance, to buy popcorn. The one they've made, two days old, three days old. But there are people who will leave that one and they want the one that is popping. There is an experience. People love freshness. This is why it's good that you receive testimonies and come and testify. But there's something about the power of God on display, real time. It proves to people here and now that Jesus is still alive. Are you ready now? In one minute, I'd like you to declare that any sickness within your body that is not of God, any planting, it must live right now. And if you are standing for someone, I know there are people watching in hospitals. There are people watching by sick beds. I want you to believe. Take your eyes away from the infirmity and pray. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place Take my body, my soul, my spirit Breathe on me Take my body, my soul, my spirit Breathe upon that fibroid Breathe upon that lump Breathe upon that genotype issue Breathe upon that bone condition. Breathe upon HIV. Breathe upon cancer. Breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis. Breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues. Breathe upon weakness in body. Breathe upon eye conditions. Breathe upon ear conditions. Breathe upon reproductive issues. Breathe upon digestive issues. Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I am going to pray. There are so many people outside and all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe. Give Jesus a chance. Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in miracles. And right now I want to pray for you. Now listen, don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that mary asked that question already how shall these things be seen that i know not a man he said the power of the highest so the power of the highest is about to overshadow you and listen listen how the holy spirit got to the womb of mary leave that to the intelligence of god that is the same way his power he does not need to open you with a surgical knife. 
he can get to your systems your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when i pray for you i want you to believe whether or not i mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and i'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you check yourself i'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you if and when i ask you to come out i want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in jesus take your eyes away from the sickness i learned this from benny Hinn. he said in in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand in for someone i see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give jesus a chance just help those under the anointing i'm about to pray right now and i'm praying in the name of jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child majesty just keep your hand there your majesty your grace has found me just as i am empty-handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence keep those hands there now you do mighty things you do glorious things the healing power of jesus is flowing you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things shabala sabrande gebaratush kalibra hasia one more time you do mighty things you do such healing streams in this place right now now in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god the one exalted today as lord and christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity I rebuke the root cause of every disease I rebuke the root cause of every plague in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit help those under the anointing every spirit of infirmity every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies 
in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i banish you from these bodies right now in jesus name now i decree and declare in the name of jesus be healed now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet i bring you the life and power of jesus be made whole right now in jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of jesus i command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear i declare the ears open right now in jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin i declare by the power that raised christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all i decree and declare be healed now the lord is ministering to me my god i'm hearing help that gentleman i'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of jesus christ and i'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from federal medical center here in abuja the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the help them please the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ back pain the lord is healing back pain in the name of jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now i declare begin to walk in the name of jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you i don't know if, is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of jesus let that sense be restored now i've seen god minister this case before that he's showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of jesus the power of god is coming upon you right now and i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed right now the lord is healing a condition i'm seeing a vision and i'm seeing pid this is what i'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of jesus i decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now now the lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman i'm not a doctor um and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant i see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a a condition that you have right now the power of god i don't know where that person is right now the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ you can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here 22 months of carrying a child 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the lord i flush it out right now
now listen we are still praying it is it is still i'm still ministering healing but i'm seeing the power of god moving away i'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what i'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of god is coming upon you right now at least 21 people be healed in the name of jesus there is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now i don't know i'm seeing someone i don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary, urinary problem from what God is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what god is telling me outside in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of jesus christ i command that devil to let you go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood I don't know what that condition is but you are urinating blood in the name of jesus right now as i'm praying for you may the power of god touch you now there's someone you've been feeling something on your throat it's as if um you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out uh, throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten it's a demonic condition in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the barbing saloon 
and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and uh, of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name we change medical conditions right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus be healed in Jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition I'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you noticed it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody i'm seeing this is a demonic thing it looks like a lump but if we don't pray against it they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because i'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body we curse that spirit now hallelujah hmm. i'm watching a vision right now and i'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rottening i don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache I'm going to mention a condition right now and when I mention that condition the power of God will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family I'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat to, you are carrying that thing within you the power of God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get uh, you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of jesus i rebuke that demonic thing from your blood be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's a lady right now as i'm speaking to you you came here with terrible abdominal pain like abdominal pain it looks like there's fire all around your stomach you're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves you will never feel it again i bring you healing right now in jesus name now i believe that several miracles have happened here not just the ones that i i i you know i declared by the word of knowledge there are several people who have been healed this is what i want you to do we're going to hurry up I'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself already miracles are happening 
i will ask you to quickly please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those who are following online you can send in your testimonies all across the world let us know what the lord is doing for you right now there are people within this auditorium and there are people outside this a place the overflows even across the road the power of god has touched you check yourself i want you to make your way very quickly and come and stand here let's have a few testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they come celebrate them very quickly as they come hallelujah now while they are coming are you seeing the lord touching people koinonia is this the best you can do please open the doors for those who are coming from several overflows let them make their way to the front in the name of jesus christ whilst you are seated in the next one or two minutes i want you to pray in the spirit and declare that the spirit of poverty and lack over my life just do what i'm asking you to do break it right now by prayer lift your voice and pray whilst you are seated everywhere those who have been healed make your way to the front make your way to the front in the name of jesus while we are praying check yourself outside any and all miracles check yourself all the overflows do what you couldn't do before you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly do so very quickly jesus is healing jesus is healing you could not move your body move your body right now you couldn't see far try to look far right now please make sure you direct those who are coming from outside if you need to open the doors for them let's know so that we have them here quickly those who are healed and coming from outside check yourself in the name of jesus christ go ahead you are rebuking the spirit that is behind poverty you are rebuking the spirit that is back of poverty there are principles but there are spirits it is God's desire to prosper you keep coming keep coming in the name of Jesus miracles are happening by the spirit healings are happening by the spirit miracles are happening the lord is also showing me a woman you gave birth and since you put to birth your body has not been normal something happened to you and it looks like you've been sick having like fever again and again and again long after you are done giving birth the power of god is also touching you right now and he's bringing you healing he's bringing you life in the name of jesus if you're coming to share your testimony make your way to the front very quickly Usher's protocol, let's direct them very quickly so that we save time. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are Lord, mighty are your miracles. I stand in awe. Of your holy name, and Lord, we bow and worship. Awesome God, how great Thou art! You are Lord, mighty are Your miracles. Stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Lord, we 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 worship. There's no space. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah sir this man wearing white please can you stand don't be embarrassed can you place your hand on your neck i want to pray for you i don't know what is there but the lord is asking me to rebuke it in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the anointing of the spirit bring you life right now and bring you healing i command a release for you right now in jesus name i pray hallelujah now just hold on before we start taking the testimonies please sit if you can please sit if you can just just bring everybody out now who begins to shout under the anointing whether inside or outside i'm seeing angelic activities the lord is bringing an end to very strange mysterious occurrences bring them everywhere all over the overflows there's something mysterious god is removing from lives and families bring them out we're talking about the power of jesus here bring them out you can't stand it it's not it is this is a word from god god is separating you he's bringing something out you will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this remember christ is revealed as the power of god there are still more people i saw so many people in my visions that anointing is coming on you all over the overflow outside literally an anointing will lift you from your seat literally Alashabraskibadikaparuteyakata let the end come now in the name of jesus let the end come now captivity always has an end let the end come now around the balconies i'm seeing angelic activities around the balconies in the name of jesus let the end come now let the end come now in the name of jesus christ let the end come. you you can't stand this is the power of god Come. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand, Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. No one will. Oh. Just be patient, we'll take the testimonies. But God is doing something here right now. I'm looking at 14 people. 14 people. I'm looking at you in the spirit, but I'm not seeing a face. I'm seeing you covered. You know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood. The Lord is lifting that hood right now. That is the garment of shame. 14 people. The power of God is coming on you now. 14 people. The garment of shame. The garment of shame parakotos kedepata we tear off that garment now from your destiny tear off that garment from your destiny in the name of jesus christ
that lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now Who is Chinedu? I'm hearing a name Chinedu. Who is that? Chinedu. Now, the overflow outside. I want you to prepare. I want to pray a prayer for you. Something is going to happen outside. The overflow outside. Who is Chinedu? Where are you from, my friend? State. I'm no, from this man. State. Huh? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will leave them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity huh? yes. that was worshipped. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, did yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes, yes. What did they tell you about the deity? That there is a deity that was worshipped. Yes. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes. Because I see you, you are a sincere man. But if I don't help you, you are rising and going down. You are rising. No, no, give him the mic. And you are going down. I want to pray for you. There's nothing to cry about, my friend. Please look up so that we'll save time. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray right now. I use him as a point of contact. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. You, Jesus. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking, but the power of God is touching you. Because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chinedu, all of you, I will pray with you. There's one of you here, when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call. Because you need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I command that spirit anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back paraka ancestral worship ancestral worship ancestral worship worship of deity there are some of you here you even see these deities appear to you right now I command by the power of the Holy Ghost let them go now release their names Every name submitted in any shrine, submitted before any altar for your destruction, I declare be free now. Help that man, be free now. I set that shrine and that altar on fire, on fire. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. And for all of you who are here in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, the Chinedus. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God is taking something out of your body. I declare, be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. Don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed. This is a miracle service. There is someone... Is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest like like a um, um what they call them now who is that person i want to pray for you something is happening here directly i don't mean maybe directly your father a priest a hap, like a i don't want to use a, a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here
Your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. Your name is to be worshipped. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please don't listen carefully. Don't misunderstand me. We are not saying you are evil people and we are not saying your parents, they, they, I'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices. Listen, there is one of you here, don't feel bad. I'm going to pray for you. What your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people and the causes of so many people are on that family. Listen to me, what I'm telling you because i well i don't know now it's difficult to i'm i have to just obey what god is telling me please don't come out carelessly i'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family we're all from africa i mean if your father directly was involved in this no no if they if they are there let them i will pray for them but one of you i'm sorry to use that expression your father is a herbalist he has been responsible for the death of many people including a man of god and there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family we have to pray again this is a family of love i hope you understand what i'm doing and please we are not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people remember that the anointing comes jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation because there are some of you here you will think it's a joke the the ill speaking of people as a result of diabolic things do you know that every herbalist has children and when you say oh god destroy those who have caused me pain what do you think you are saying hallelujah young lady my dear look at me this fair lady where are you from huh? christ Eva. Ah, jesus christ out of her now in the name of jesus my goodness my god you see let me tell you this please hold on um you know when i teach it's good to listen to me listen to everything i'm saying and i'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages make sure that when you are putting these things you put everything we say don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people there are two families here married couple this is the real cause of the problem in your marriage the cause that has come as a it, it's all right my friend what is it you're a herbalist my is a sorcerer. Huh? Sorcerer. Your, my father no no don't worry don't feel bad eh? where are you coming from i'm from edo Akoko. don't worry i'll pray with you parents let's repent and serve jesus you see all this trouble that people parents there i mean fathers grandfathers and you if you are coming from a family of idol worship don't let idol worship come out of you be that bridge are we together look how many people are here all of these people will be married some are married what do you think will happen to that home some are in business this is why you can invite somebody and say come let's do business together you just thought that you are inviting just a body but you may not know you are inviting altars and every time believers pray and say god punish evil doers what do you think will happen that's why it takes a ministry of the blood we just finished a ministry on deliverance this particular lady i just prayed for from cross river i need to pray because there is something terrible in this family one of you here your father has to, is it your father or from your lineage you are supposed to literally take over the priesthood who is that person directly oh and they have been calling you as you are now come come and stand here let god help you i don't mean a vision no they've told directly they are calling you now that you should come and take it ah. lord of heaven don't listen listen please let's let's be orderly here this is the house of god let them come forward where are you from my friend huh emo state sir emo state yes sir i want to pray for you 
you see my friends when jesus comes he truly can set free this gentleman now they are calling him do you know what happens when you reject that call if you do not know jesus christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence you will not have a life again that altar will tear anything if you are married sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding look at this fine young man but these wicked altars this guy probably went to school and yet the altars don't care my friend look at me do you believe in jesus christ yes, i do yes sir is it your father my grandfather sir your grandfather yes sir. he's still alive no he's gone he's gone yes sir. and you are supposed to take over yes from my maternal home from your maternal home yes how about you my friend my grandfather and when he died his picture disappeared so i was told that i'm the uh, my auntie the elder uh, father my elder uh, fathers called me that i should come to the home before she died that i should come there's a message for me i'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe you are the one who is supposed to yes take but God has called me as a pastor. That's all right. How about you? Mine, it was my grandfather. My father was the only son. So when he died, my father was supposed to take over. But my father refused, became a pastor, and was frustrated. Now, I am the only son of my father. In other words, if my father took over, I'm the one that's supposed to take over from him. Both of us are in ministry, were frustrated. You and your father are both in ministry? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Currently, my father's two legs is currently swollen up down to his private part very terrible situation battling with life right now you see what i'm saying i hope i'm not getting you to be afraid but i'm just telling you that when god puts a miracle service like this believe me you don't want to know what people are going through my friend this man this one lifting his hand yes there sir. is a serious prayer i need to pray for you talk to me sir i was told that my father has a call of god upon his life but he chose it the wrong way and since i was growing up i was told that I am going to take the place of my father. Now he is late. Where is your father? He is late now. Listen sir. to me. Don't feel bad. Mistakes were made. It's a wrong group that led him. I will not say more than that. But he was involved in things he should not do. Do you understand? And the Every deity, alive or dead. Every priesthood behind any altar. That is troubling your life manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back in the name of jesus christ i decree right now let fire fall now help them let fire fall now let fire fall now every occultic initiation they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices i declare be delivered now hear me and for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of jesus any altar that will not let you go i stand right now as a servant of the lord jesus christ you see there are two sides to god there is lion and lamb it depends on which one you choose to see in the name of jesus every altar alongside the priest behind it i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them swallow them swallow them in the name of Jesus hallelujah therefore I declare all of you who are out here I declare you free by the Spirit of God go and prosper in Jesus name you see let me give you an advice if you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood don't be lukewarm in your christianity you either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with god if you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation these altars will tear you you hear what this my my dear friend is saying your father is now paralyzed 
Huh? His two legs are having problem. Completely. Completely, the two legs. Are. And he's a pastor. Yes, sir. Where is he? In Kogi, sir. In Kogi? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kogi, sir. I'm a Nigala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, yeah? Thanks. And the Lord will help you. Amen. There are many things you need to know, but then God will help you. Amen. Listen and learn and grow. Amen. Father, use him mightily. Amen. The Lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a place called Aimba. Do you know that? I'm seeing the power of God rest on people right now who are from that region. Listen, listen carefully. I just saw fire and I saw that name. Everyone who comes from that region, if there is any altar that is holding you down, I, I'm not asking you to come out. You can just remain there for sake of time. Listen, I'm praying now. Help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things by the blood of the eternal covenant be free now in jesus name those who came out for that call whether you are standing at the aisles go back rejoicing in jesus name go back rejoicing in jesus name hallelujah now there is someone this is strange there's someone the lord is asking me to pray for you you deal in spare parts that's what you do but i need i don't know why god will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you is there someone like that i don't mean you are just you are this is what you do i want to pray for you because the salvation of many people is connected to you when you find that person please let me let me have that person we're about to pray let's take a few testimonies to glorify jesus who is ready who is this one why is he here you are healed spare part where in our person in the name of jesus christ you too okay so join him let me just pray for you even though in my vision this these are not the people i'm seeing but then i will still pray for you father in the name of jesus help these people it may look like what they are doing is small but i prophesy to you that though your beginning be small your latter end will greatly increase may the lord prosper you and he's prospering you not just for your sake he's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones because you need to be there for them he's raising you as a savior may he honor you in jesus name i pray amen god bless you okay very quickly let's have the testimonies yes All sir right. Um, so, Apostle, she came in here with very severe pains in her throat. She was Pain in your throat? Yes, sir. How many years, my dear? Sir, I, I normally have a sore throat. Okay. So, when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it yes. would be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of of throat pain yes. and the pain and the pain completely gone i can swallow throat uh, spit now in no the pain name again. of jesus christ i decree and declare amen. it never returns to you amen in jesus name amen. yes please then sir we have two fantastic testimonies again yes please you spoke about people that you know had been stammering and okay stenuously healed so i've been stammering for like 20 years sir. it's been very difficult to talk sometimes. stammering yes, you are yes, sure sir. of that yes sir who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? <laughs> Tell us. We've been friends from secondary school. You've been friends from secondary school? Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer? Yes, sir. Right now? Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came? Yes, sir. And right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. Should not perish. But have eternal life. But have eternal life. Come on, life. give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. 
in the name of Jesus my friend it will never return to you and and for this good friend for coming to encourage him in the name of Jesus may good things look for you in the name of Jesus Christ yes please let me hear the testimony of you. all right sir so it's similar case Praise God. boy how are you I'm fine sir what is your name Alvin Alvin. what happened to him who brought him sir he, he actually was healed from stammering too oh you were healed from stammering i was wondering why the boy was there okay say jesus is lord jesus is lord say jesus i love you jesus i love you oh my god look at this oh the boy is crying stretch your hands towards this boy let's ask the lord to use him these are the kinds of things we want when this boy becomes a preacher he will remember his stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry don't despise him when you see an adult you have seen what you will become but when you see a little boy like this pray for him father use this boy mightily it's been our prayer for many years that koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of god and it is still our prayer may the lord use you mightily in jesus name let's celebrate him god bless you yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge of those who have surgery done in their time not properly done this lady came the surgery was done 15 years ago L let her speak um the surgery was done it was from an accident you had an accident yes. how long 15 years ago and what happened um femoral fracture uh -huh. so it happened that the bone didn't join properly so um one inch one leg is longer than one by one inch i'm not able to stand on the other leg and lately it has been paining me so i went to do s3 okay so they said you couldn't stand on the other leg yes and severe pain okay lately. and right now there's no pain at completely all. which of the legs this right match with it let me see i've been standing on it for a oh while you've been standing now. on it look yes. at she couldn't stand on it she came there with the pain today you came in with the pain yes sir walk but now she's healed any pain any pain the same case for our brother here yes. four years ago what happened to four you four years ago so four years ago i have an accident one hour i'm working in philly station so all of a sudden i was treated by all those traditional medicine i have been seated for more than one year on the floor receiving my treatment so look at the evidence the leg is not even set because of the injury on my leg so it used to inch me sometimes the leg used to hold me wherever i'm even praying i can't even do this on my own but after the prophecy i key to the prophecy all of a sudden as you declare yes instantly the pain just went off hallelujah stand up my friend stand up please come that's not why you came out listen to me i want to pray for you you see, the association you are part of determines what happens to you. You are a great man, but it's, it's not for me to speak, I'm on air, but something has been done to you. You are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served. And they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically. This is a demonic thing. You need to be delivered now. I stretch my hands. I release you from that spirit. Out of him now! In the name of Jesus Christ. It is true you are really called to be a prophet. But not by this thing. You see, if God does not open your eyes, your eyes cannot be opened. All these things, I'm, I'm, not, being, I'm not being sarcastic. But all these things, did you drag you to the river and all of this. There is a scriptural way to obtain grace. And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people but let's be careful when you you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture this person is not a bad person are we together now and i'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry but we have to be careful in the name of jesus again i set you free this spirit that appears to you let him go now in the name of jesus christ and there is there is a wicked pattern Southern Kaduna, Parus Kadina Kaprahaski Badia, Gratus Keti Bredigi Baraduzia. God is going to use you as a mighty vessel. I'm releasing this grace on you, mighty vessel. 
there are people within that region that God will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give Jesus praise. We gave word of knowledge for those with bleeding gum. She had had the challenge for four years. For bleeding, those who bleeding and swollen gums. She has, she has gone to the confidence, use her tongues. It's no longer bleeding. Bleeding what? Gum. Gum. For how long? For over four years now, sir. And right now? It's gone. Like gone completely. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very Short quickly. sightedness from birth. Healed from by birth. birth. From birth. Now she can What see couldn't you see? Like um, colors. Colors. And then letters. It's really hard. But while we were preaching, I felt heat all over my face. So I had to sit down. And then when I got up, everywhere was beautiful. Everywhere was beautiful. And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what is there In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please come. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, apostles. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year and while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast and I refused. Immediately I woke what up kind from of the a dream. dream. You, you see how my these right Luciferian dreams are? You, hold on, please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture i have taught you when you get up don't just record it and leave it there you rebuke it in the name of jesus every dream is a seed by the principle of biology a seed are you understanding not not meeting you have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen so that dream is a seed you can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest or you can reject it Barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man. That means you have the power to reject certain seeds. Like this kind of demonic seed. So you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast. I refuse in the dream. So when I recall immediately. You know those I the Bible call dogs? You see that? Yes. So I noticed I fasted and I prayed about it. After what some happened time, now? I started feeling the pain three days ago. I went to the hospital for checkup yesterday. Yes. They palpated my breast. There is not no seed and nothing, nothing. Today, when I came to the side, the breast was paining me. So I touched it. I'm not feeling any pain again. It's gone completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, for both of you, I decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, sir. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now, she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's uh, 10 years ago, Straight I Straight to the, the point, dream. madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, ever since, I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body. While you were giving the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing. So I had to come out. Even while we're saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing here like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo. The snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil, I command it to leave you now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's give Jesus praise. Next, please. Very quickly. Our mommy here, the same thing since 2009. Something has been moving in What happened body. to mama? Let her speak very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair. And since then, it doesn't grow. And Your hair does it. Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yeah. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Scrape here, 13 years ago. 13 years. Here, scrape. Let us speak, ma. So, 
I was sleeping and I dreamt and in the dream uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I pray this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they're having experiences beginning from the dream. But then it is manifesting physically. I pray for someone here. Everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of destruction. I declare be free now. Be free now. I sanctify your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. But since then, the hair refused to grow. The I, hair refused to grow. It refused. I have. I don't even sleep. I pray. I'm not sure I'm hearing her well. Hold I on. pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. What do you mean the hair refused to grow? There's nothing there. I'm bald around here, but I, normally I, I have really thick, long hair. But they shaved it all around like that. And I don't see how a woman can be bald on top. Oh my I'm God! Around this, and then things started moving in my body, and then things started changing. My my um, favor started going away. I would yes. go to work, and people would turn against me. I'll be nice to people, and they would Th turn against all right, me. That's all right, ma. I'm going to pray for you. Thank God you came for the miracle service. She I pray for you. She, you. she came from the U.S. Yes, sir. My God. You see, whether you are in America, whether you are in London, once it is altars, they will fish you there and accept the power. The Bible says that except one greater than he comes to bind the strong man. Look at mama all the way from US. Look at this kind of evil on this woman. If the hair of Samson grew back, then I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Madam, please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus Christ, between now and the next three months, we declare supernaturally, let your hair grow back. And all these doors of favor that have been closed, I declare in Jesus' name, let it be open for you. We declare that as you return back to US, it will be strange testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, for four years, she for 17 years, you spoke about, you know, people lactating and God healing them. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm here to testify to the goodness of God because I've been lactating for more than four years. I went to the hospital and they checked me and they said, um, it's normal, but I know it's not normal because I'm not pregnant. There's nothing wrong with me. So when they were praying, I could not even wait for the prayers to finish. I ran to the restroom. I made sure I used the energy in me to press and nothing came out. Four years. How about you, my dear? Yes, um, for 17 years I've had this issue, but it became more obvious after my surgery. My right ovary was taken in 2019, taken out. You had so, a surgery? Yes, sir. Oh my Ovarian cyst. So I wake up soaked most times. Or if I press the breast, it comes out like it's a, a straight movement. So after you pray, last year you prayed about it and it stopped. Do but you have I children? A, no, sir. I'm not married. You're not married? No, sir. And yet the surgery, you're, oh my God. Can I pray for you? Do you believe God can give you brand new ovaries? My dear, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe I'll pray for you? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Place, you just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank the doctors for doing their best. But right now, the same power that created the heavens and the earth, I stretch my hands. Right now, brand new ovaries. Agree with her brand new ovaries. Amen. And I use her as a point of contact to pray for anyone here trusting God for a creative miracle. Perhaps by surgery or whatever, something has been taken from your body. In the name of Jesus, weep not, for the Lord is giving you a brand new one. Amen. Let me tell you the truth. In my lifetime, I will tell you this. If I'm joking, you will know I'm joking. I have seen someone who they performed a surgery they removed one of the bones and put metal god is my witness they put metal and the person was supposed to live with it like that 
and the person met me because he had a condition there's something the people feel i don't know if it's that during rainy season or when the weather is cold or something of that sort it will affect the person imagine like putting you know something that can absorb cold inside the person i was angry in my spirit i laid two of my hands not one two of my hands and cried to the god of heaven that person went back this is a miracle that happened many years ago the doctor was shocked i spoke with the doctor myself they did the x-ray they could not find any metal there again i know that jesus can create new organs and my dear i pray for you again don't cry you may not know what this means to her as a woman but in the name of jesus christ let there be a creative miracle now in jesus name i pray and for the dear one four years the lord perfects you in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly next apostle six months no menses I've been having menstrual complication and hormonal imbalance. I can't even count my period, but for six months now I've not seen it. So I woke up with faith that I will see it. I even took a strap pad, I wore pad. So when I came, he said we should go and check. So immediately I, I just saw it. I just saw my period. Can you imagine? Six months. Hormonal imbalance. Last year I had bleeding, serious bleedings, like I was giving birth, like too much. I was even scared of even my menses to come. So it sits for six months now. Place your hand on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus, we normalize everything in your body now. Amen. It will function for you normally after the order of women. Amen. Every abnormality and complication will cause it now. Amen. This miracle remains permanent for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Please return back celebrating. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge for difficulty in breathing and abdominal pain. Yes. Many of them, they were healed by the power of God. Let me hear. Yes. Yeah, for the past two weeks, I've been dealing with shortness of breath and abdominal pain from the residue of an illness I've been battling. But instantly, the anointing came on me and I've been healed. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Sent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sent. All three of I've you, been my pain. I decree and declare in Jesus' name let there be supernatural healing for you right now it will never return again in jesus name you gave word of knowledge of people that eat and throw back what they eat now these are i mean twin twin brother ruminates that is he eats them bring it back and they eat it again like rumi, ruminant animals for years so why you well, raise the prayer what, what do you mean eat and bring it brings it back where he will throw up you throw up no you eat like and ruminate you chew the cord Oh, you, like, I what you are eating, you bring it back let again. Let us speak. No, she's not the one. He's our twin brother. Uh, let us still speak. What happened to him? The thing is that for more than 10, 12 years now, my twin brother, when he eats, he throws up back. Is that normal, doctors? No, he has issues with his esophagus and his digestive system. And they said, when we went for tests, almost 10, 12 years ago, they said that there's a tube, there's there's a place in the system that is supposed to be small and it's open and the place that is supposed to be open is small and what so, happened now while you were praying i called him on the phone yes. i called him on whatsapp to do video but he was not going through so i called him directly and i said just be saying amen they are calling your case just be saying amen right. and the more you you kept on saying that he, if he, if they stand up at night they can't sleep my brother doesn't sleep he will be up his back will be what's on the his wall. name Ken, they are like the suru. Ken, then the name of Jesus, we use your sister as a point yeah, of contact. Yeah, in Abuja, at, at Guarimpa. He's in Guarimpa now. Yes. In Jesus' name, we perfect his condition. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He's not a ruminant. In the name of Jesus, that, that demonic thing stops now. Amen. We normalize his organs in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And for you as a sister, you're standing. Do you have your own testimony? No, don't worry i'll pray for you in the name of jesus whatever it is that god has done i seal it and i perfect it in jesus name i pray yes. amen yes sir all right so apostle you gave a precise word of knowledge yes sir. regarding a young man that is bleeding from his nose bleeding through your nose yes yes sir i've been bleeding for more than 15 years actually it was um, one of the days i was playing while i was young and um, i just bent my head and suddenly i saw blood my god and there are was, so many testimonies and i was this. like i told my mom my mom said i should just pray so it has it happened even this morning while i was coming to church I and what happened to you now i felt that same sensation that the blood is going to come out i was ashamed so i was just checking it a little bit and found out that there's Completely. no blood yes in the name of jesus christ 
may it never reoccur again amen. by the power of the holy spirit amen. in jesus name i pray amen and amen then apostle i want minister kenny to read a profound testimony you mentioned pid something regarding pid and now we have a testimony online daddy we have amazing testimonies okay. online we have someone from kaduna got healed of pid daddy mentioned her case and she got healed instantly we have someone else from spain got healed of allergy whatever he eats he throws up he went to eat and has not thrown up since we have another woman from benin mm. apostle mentioned that there is someone with difficulty in swallowing like the truth is blocked yes i keyed into it she says and kneeled in front of the television and let, let me tell you says, this let me tell you this just pause a moment kenny do you know no matter where you are across the globe we thank god for the privilege of technology provided you can connect by faith you see that in a moment the same thing god is doing here it's possible that you can even be here and not receive and someone can be at the ends of the earth it's about your connection by faith yes sir and apostle said that there is another person with the same case watching immediately he rebuked the condition i started belching i and i went to spit the holy spirit directed me to drink water and the anointing oil i am healed completely we have someone from rwanda apostle wow. mentioned her case of breast pain she got healed instantly we have one more person and we've not yet been able to ascertain his location but he says he has balls all over his body for a long time boils and it, yes and immediately you mentioned that case he says balls moving from one part of my lap to another disappearing seasonally and as apostle ministered instantly i can see them i cannot see them again they all disappeared hallelujah in the name of jesus christ amazing yes please four years arthritis healed arthritis Pain. yes Pain mama, in her leg for mama the past how long has that been since 2018 2018 yes. what happened to you i've been having pains i went for my younger brother's uh, wedding after the tradition on sunday for us to come and give testimony my two legs started pending me i can't even walk I, when i said let me carry a stick my husband which how can you you stick and be walking yes Actually, what happened to you now ma but now as we are praying for arthritis the pains i would I, if it is the time that it was yes me, i wouldn't have been standing for a, a long time yeah but now the move pain. your legs mama any pain no pain. any pain are you seeing what jesus is doing in the name of jesus you are free and free forever Amen. by the power of the holy spirit you gave word of knowledge of a woman who wakes up in the night and will not be able to sleep again yes ma the power of god touched her when you gave that word of knowledge and she fell under the anointing and she's healed now. right now completely this, this is a son here to testify this is the son yes what happened to mama um, she has not been able to sleep, uh, especially since uh, last year when we lost our sister. And um, oh my well, God. I brought her to Abuja to stay with me for a while. Okay. And um, I noticed that trend. Oh, well, she's not been God. able to sleep? No. She was, she was built to go back, but she said no, that she's going to stay for this miracle service. Let and me when... encourage you. Listen, let me use this opportunity and encourage you. You see, there are times, humanly speaking, there are certain kinds of losses, especially of people you love, that when it happens, it can wreck your whole life. At that point, no human can counsel you in a way that comforts. At such point, you have to tap into the ministry of the Holy Spirit called the Comforter. Men can comfort, but there is one called the Comforter. He can minister to you in a way that no man can. You can see her only, it's not just a medical condition. You lost your daughter, mama so you can see that's the pain of a mother it's going to take a long time but the holy spirit can come as a comforter and i used mama to pray for everyone who has been bereaved i want you to receive by faith now you've been bereaved within the last one year especially that you are struggling you don't know how to just you have been asking questions this is still a miracle service in the name of jesus i use our mother here as a point of contact to pray for everyone here who has lost a loved one mother father brother siblings parents we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ and we declare that the holy spirit ministers to you in the name of jesus christ 
now i will tell you why i'm praying for you help that woman i will tell you something that you need to learn there is a spirit called the spirit of grief it only comes to you when negative things happen like losses it will steal into your emotion when the spirit of grief comes it will destroy you in a way that you cannot imagine it's good to mourn but there is a spirit called grief i learned this from pastor kenneth copeland i heard him teach about the spirit of grief Now, you can never, you may never, we, we cannot imagine what it takes by the privilege of the work that I do as a man of God. Um, you know, when people lose their loved ones, I'm usually about the first to know. And so, whether or not I'm directly related to the people, no matter how hard you are as a man of God, sometimes you just have to be strong for their sake, but you will still feel it because you are human. But I have seen the spirit of grief slip through these moments and remain with people and families and destroy them i know people who resigned from their workplace resigned from everything and said you know what i know people who committed suicide have you heard of such things after they lost loved ones they went to kill themselves that one is no longer mourning it's the spirit of grief mama i use you as a point of contact in the name of jesus may the god of heaven by his spirit comfort you and I declare anyone here suffering from the spirit of grief as a result of the loss of a loved one, be delivered from it now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes. One year arthritis healed, confirmed by the medical doctors. One year arthritis. One year arthritis. Which, arthritis which, of the, which of the legs? Left or right? Hepatitis. 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 Oh, hepatitis. Gone. Yes, gone. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural healing. Both of them? No. She put to bed 2018 and then her body has not been in a normal shape. You get she back. could not, yes, she could not stand for a very long time. But when you mentioned that case, she fell under the anointing and then she's been standing completely, completely healed. In the name of her Jesus body is fixed. Christ, it will never return to you again, my dear. All of you who are standing, you are healed right now in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, his first time here in Koinonia. You're welcome. Just relocated Most welcome. From and yes. God visited him. Hallelujah. Good evening, Apostle. How are you? Over two months ago, I had a I just woke up and I had a pain in my private part and I had bruises all over. I prayed over it. It went two, two weeks after I came back severely. This is my first time and I was upstairs. I was praying as we were praying along. The power of God hit me and the pain stopped. I was just, it's my first time. I didn't know the protocol, how to run out here to come and give the testimony. I just came to just say, Jesus, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, that demonic thing will never return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Praise God. Very quickly, let's let's see uh, if we can reduce a few of these lines, and then we'll month, just pray. Last general. month, I was here with uh, ulcer symptoms. Ulcer. Uh, yes. Okay, what happened to you now? So when I went back home, I went to run a test, and it was not there. even here. Last month, uh, in, in the night, they tested me. I was not having the ulcer, but I was still having the symptom. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are supernaturally healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes, please. Next person. I felt the same also two days ago. So when I, before I came here, I didn't feel it. But You've been healed of ulcer in Jesus' name. Let it never return to you again. Yes, sir. We need to hear this testimony. Yes, I've been, I've been interested. I've been looking at her. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not too qualified to give this testimony. <laughs> so let me allow Dr. Come. Doctor, yes, please. Um, Daddy. This child has what they call juvenile diabetes. So it's just um, diabetes starting from an early doctors, age. Doctors, doctors, doctors. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you find them having very high level of blood sugar. So as of this morning, they had about 20. About 20. That was the blood um, level, um, sugar level that okay. they recorded this morning. So, 20? Um, yes. How old is she? 12, 12 years. years. So usually they take, um, there's this drug, they take insulin just to help maintain the yes. sugar level. So after the prayers and all, he believed, trusted God, and then they went to the medical stand, and then they checked the sugar level, and it was 3.3. From 20, a 12, listen, if Satan does not spare a little girl like this 12-year-old, 20 my dear how are you Hi. father in the name of jesus christ 
we pray for this our little one it will never go beyond normal again in jesus name and in the name of jesus i declare you grow normally you are healthy in jesus name let's celebrate jesus god bless you yes please well, so apostle well this is not directly related to healing but yes. quite interesting um you know the people you called out and prayed for okay just praying for them sir her dad has been calling her she will, she will explain father you mentioned um my father has done diabolical things you mentioned my father has done things with innocent people's blood and my father immediately i came out my father started calling me my he started father, calling you he started calling me immediately i came out he started calling me immediately i came out oh this both time. of you you are sisters yes. where are you from kogi states he started calling you that what happened we haven't picked up the call because we know that he wants us to come back home. What do we do to these things now? <laughs> Listen, dear ones, look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Don't be afraid. Are you Muslims? You're Christians? Don't be afraid. Um, let me tell you something. There is no weapon that is fashioned against you. You see, it's very difficult to do whatever you want to do because this is their father. I declare that no charm and no enchantment of darkness against you will strive. Yeah. See, it's very difficult when the person who the devil is using is related to you. It's easy to shout and kill any other person who is not a relative, who is any other person. But now, this is, this, is, this is your own father. They love their father. Don't cry. Can we pray that God will save that man? That is a scriptural approach to these kinds of things. God is able to save unto the uttermost. Don't you think because he's involved in diabolic things, God cannot save him? Ask Saul, who became Paul. Father, we agree as a church right now arrest and visit the father arrest and visit the father we pray for his salvation and in the name of jesus we pray that he is preserved and as for you i use you as a point of contact to your siblings and i declare you are preserved supernaturally in jesus name please go in peace do not fear in jesus name apostle another case of rumination here Regurgitation. Okay. Since when she was a teenager, she has had that challenge. She will eat, it will come out, then takes it back again. But is that true? When you mentioned that case, the power of God came on her, so she went to drink water and then and it's, it's gone. It's, it's gone. Secondly, a woman visited me 29th of January that meant to serve a water. Spirit. A woman. A woman. She okay. has been calling me since last year. The that woman has been calling you. Yes. Physically or spiritually? Physically. That I'm, I'm meant to serve water. So where are you year, from? I'm from Enugu State, and my father was so diabolic that two of my sister's husband have died. One is a pastor that just passed on August last year. So she came to 20, to, uh, this 2022 uh, yes. and said that I have to serve Shirai, that I should leave church. I told her, no, that I'm called to serve God, not to serve Shirai. So when she left, I saw a casket on my bed. And the woman is late? No, the woman left, but I was seeing a vision of a casket when she left my room. So, and I started having a kind of, my head was as if I was bleeding. So things I don't things, kill, but anybody that made a casket for you must enter inside it. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me say it again. Anybody that makes a casket for you, I decree and declare what happened to her man. The same way he built a, a gallow to defeat Mordecai. In the name of Jesus, I say it again anybody conspiring with darkness on account of your case they will they will they will get into their own destruction and in jesus name prophetically we warn that woman whoever she is in the name of jesus if she will not let you go she will follow the way of her man for sure in jesus name Listen, you are a believer. Don't let anybody threaten you. This is a world that is full of people who will take advantage. They will prey on your ignorance. Are we together? Nobody, even Jesus Christ, gave us room to choose him or any other thing. Don't let anybody force you and say, you must worship this. It's demonic. I said before you, life and death. 
blessing and cursing he tells you to choose hallelujah okay yes, all right sir. sir so we have very interesting testimonies here he was here let's, last let's year. take two okay well Please, can um we can i are this all of these testimonies yes now here's what will happen um I, I want to be encouraging all those who come out it takes a lot of courage to come out and testify and sometimes because we are constrained by time here's what i want you to do from now on ushers or pr whoever when people come out like this to testify if they don't have a chance to testify what happens is that give them a chance to register their names so that by next sunday we can start with them to testify there are so many people to testify and because of time we'll just speak a few so i think pr or ushers those responsible can do that we when people come out and stand and they are not given a chance to testify they become discouraged another time are we together if if this were a, a vigil for instance we'll have enough time and then we have to do some other things and finish on time because there are people who stay very far this is what is uh, at the back of our rushing so many things generally a miracle service like this when you are dealing with issues you will need quite some time to really deal with matters in people's lives i'm sure one of these days god will grant us grace to do a vigil in the name of jesus christ where we would take out time and really really address issues in people's lives in jesus name but for some of you who may not be allowed to testify please don't don't feel bad um make sure that we'll give you room next week you come um we can start just quizzing to the service so that we give more time for testimonies and have them come to testify but let's take maybe two or three so that we can finish um, because right. I want to speak over your life. Remember the four things we spoke about? Even before we pray over those requests, it must happen in your life. The spiritual progress must happen. The financial breakthroughs. Are they here for testimonies? If they are here for testimonies, just collect their testimonies. Mama is here for testimonies. What happened to you, Mama? Oh, dear. Hallelujah. Have you, have you vetted her? Okay, Mama, straight to the point, eh? God bless you. Um, technical help us, please. I'm among the uh, people that you said uh, something is moving all over their body. Okay. So as you prayed, the something left It's me. gone. In Jesus' name, Mama, the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, Apostle, so we have... Sorry, can we have the camera here? Just to... So he, he had a cast on his leg. Um... Oh. And Please show us. Can we see it? Is that possible? A cast. Last year. Last year he had a cast. And he was healed when he came here. And God followed up with another. Praise person. the Lord. My name is Farouk Danjuman. Last year when you started the Koinonia, I came here with crutches. And I told Oh, you myself, came here with crutches? Yes. What happened to you? And I said, my next visit to Koinonia will be... I won't come with the crutches. Yes. And you prayed and... That was the end right of that purchase. Right now, you're completely then, free. Yes. Then this one happened again. You know, I was on a platform, and I was about to fall. And then by my side, there was a snake. Then I screamed. That was a dream. A dream. A dream. So, and I screamed. What, what happened now? We don't have all that time, man. Eh? Just straight to the point. What did the Lord Jesus leg. Christ? And then this, this hand refused to go after taking so many. And right periods. now. And right now, yes. the Lord healed. We establish your authority over snakes and scorpions Amen. and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are Amen. perfected in Jesus' name. So, sir, Let's take 10 two years more ulcer then. healed by the Ulcer, 10 years. Asthma. In the asthma, name. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Asthma. asthma. Wow. Praise, praise. Sorry. This is the inhaler she uses. Okay. I was sitting right there, so I started feeling heavy pains. I started breathing very hard. So the next I took my hella, and whenever I take my hella, I don't, I don't stand up at yes. all, but it makes me weak. So you say we should put our faith in action. Yes. So I stood up, Mira I stood up, I hold the chair. When I closed my eye, some people held my back, I did not know the people. Then I saw as if I vomit, like in a vision, I saw myself as if I vomit.
committed a lizard and ran out. Last, uh, when I was 12 years, when I went to my family compound, my parents, there was a night I came out very early in the morning, so I saw a lion. Hold on, let me pray for them before they move, eh? Please, just stand, let me pray for you. Yes, go ahead. So I saw a lion very early in the morning. I never told anybody because nobody would believe me. So anytime before they asked me to come, I used to see this lion. So immediately I saw this, this lizard coming out of me when I, I, I bent down. I saw the lizard coming. When I and you are completely back, healed now. Yes, Breathe I went in to and the out. restroom. Breathe I in and out. Breathe in and out. When I climbed the stairs. Breathe in and out. When I climbed the stairs. That's I, I all right, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate her. She's healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Now, supernaturally, oh dear, there's one more. Okay, let's take that migraine last. since when she was a child. Migraine. So, migraine. In they G told her it's a pattern. But while you were praying, she fell under the anointing and then the migraine is Completely gone. gone. Healed. Demonic patterns gone forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's take the last one. Well, similar pains here. They all have been healed of one pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of you who are standing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Your healings remain permanent. Whether you came out to testify or not, every healing you have received tonight remains permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We have just five minutes of prayer. Have you submitted your requests? Lift it up very quickly. Ushers. Now, here's what will happen. Ushers, let's walk. We'll keep reinventing ourselves in the miracle service to, con to conserve time. What will happen is for every miracle service, as soon as we come, before praise and worship or afterwards, ushers just move around so that we submit the prayer request so that when it's time like this, we just have it um quickly we we have a few but then please lift it quickly pass it to the last person pass it to the last person at the the left or right aisle whichever don't worry nobody will read your request begin to pray in the spirit while you are doing that i want to pray for you right now along the four areas that god led us to pray today are you praying in the spirit for one minute and then i'll lead you through a declaration of faith Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. The blessed of the Lord say so. The lifted of the Lord say so. The anointed of the Lord say so. The prosperous of the Lord say so. The healthy of the Lord say so. Please make sure you receive all the requests, ushers. Let's make it very fast. Those following online, you can bring out your prayer request and just keep it in front of you prophetically for those who are connecting online if you've sent it no problem we have it and we're going to pray over it but if you're in your home and you have your request just place it prophetically hallelujah amen now we're going to pray concerning our spiritual growth please listen the bible says i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers remember we are not just a place of breakthrough and miracles and liftings we are primarily 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 a place that will help people encounter jesus christ and encounter the power of the holy spirit if your spiritual life has gone down or is going down your fervency for prayer word study the house of god now is the time to pray grace is available to put you back in right and strong standing are you ready to pray some of you have stopped fasting the grace for it is completely not there anytime you say you want to fast from seven o'clock by ten it's as if you are going to die it is a demonic thing the human spirit even animals have capacity to endure anything that puts you in that state is the devil he's trying to destroy you lift your voice in one minute and pray over your spiritual life in the name of jesus christ as we step into the month of april i am praying over my spiritual life someone is praying passion for the word of god passion for prayer passion for the house of god the bible declares i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord lift your voice and pray over your spiritual life the bible says grow in grace second peter chapter 3 and verse 18 
grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ we can grow in grace and we can grow in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ i like you to declare that my spiritual life is coming alive my passion for the things of god my passion for the house of god my passion for prayer make sure you pray this is a major part of this meeting my passion for prayer my passion for the study of the word in the name of jesus my spiritual life is fanned back to flames every lukewarmness backsliding everything that does not represent spiritual growth i drive it out of my life in the name of jesus christ number two we spoke about healing now listen when you study what paul wrote about the gift of the spirit all of the other gifts you will find gift of gift of but when it comes to healing you will see that paul wrote the gifts of healing that means there are many dimensions to healing bodily healing is just one of the dimensions there is solical healing the healing of your mind for the bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you are we together now it says say to those who are of a broken heart do not be afraid he will come and save you so you are going to pray for healing complete holistic healing for some of you maybe healing in your body you will still pray some of you god has begun the miracle it's yet to be perfected you are going to pray for perfection of healing for some of you is your mind your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life maybe pains maybe disappointments several things have happened in your mind and you need to be free you need to be completely healed there are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life i'm coming to finances but even finances you can receive healing in your finances the same way your body is sick your finances can be sick your career can be sick lift your voice and command healing go ahead go ahead and declare healing by the power of the holy spirit i declare healing healing of my body i declare healing healing of my mind i declare healing healing in my job i declare healing healing in my emotions is someone praying remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old healing from disappointments healing from pain healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses healing from bereavements go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain i declare that i'm healed finally by the power of the holy spirit the son has set me free i am free indeed the son has set me free i am free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah third prayer i want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor stagnation to be stagnated means to be kept in one place are we together yes stagnation is very dangerous because the bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day you are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation many of you what you are praying right now is what you wrote here i like you to pray stagnation in ministry stagnation in business stagnation in family stagnation over your career lift your voice and rebuke that spirit command advancement over your life command advancement are you praying you came for a miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of jesus i do ministry with results i command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of jesus i decree and declare i press i go forward i move forward in every area of my life i break forth from the left i break forth from the right i break forth above and below in the name of jesus i make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress i actualize destiny by the power of the holy spirit 
some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah finally look up please i want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up i don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of god that god has placed over you i will not let you rest till you prosper it's not only knowing god you will know god you will love him with all your heart but i can tell you in advance if something is wrong with your finances you will suffer as if jesus did not die for you are we together i've seen fi financial issues finance is not everything but let me submit to you finance holds a major key in your well-being ask anybody who is sincere especially at this time now you know how much look at diesel 700 and something pms only god knows the other day we were discussing a school of ministry gas cylinder gas cylinder i don't know whether it's empty or filled you you will buy it and be crying as you are lifting it back home because of you know all kinds of things women will tell you here you go to the market it's as if you want to run away from that place because everything has escalated you see the bible told us that these times will come but there is a system of exemption don't forget there was darkness in egypt but there was light all over goshen are we together now when you are praying for your finances you are going to pray a twofold prayer number one that christ be revealed as the wisdom of god remember there are two levels of light there is light that shines on your head job 29 and there is light that shines on your feet the one that shines on your head gives you illumination the one that shines on your feet gives you direction you need both you need strategy and direction thou shall hear a voice from behind saying just because everybody is doing something you follow them you may crash you need a specific direction and then of course we are going to pray that the favor of god oh dear i'm praying that you will really understand the role that favor has to play as far as your financial lifting is concerned what is favor men willing to participate in your in your success are you ready to pray in one minute cry to god pray break this hold of financial stagnation please pray please pray most of what you have written here if we are to be very honest most of them depend on finances the fees of your children structural projects your well-being and welfare those who are under your care that you need to take care of as a person you may not have any financial need but how about your organization how about your church how about your ministry lift your voice and pray especially for some of you that god has so graciously raised to be breadwinners to be the ones who will help your loved ones lift your voice and pray lord strengthen my hand strengthen my hand financially even at times like this holy spirit appear unto me as the wisdom of god let light shine upon my head giving me illumination and strategies let light shine upon my feet giving me direction and guidance please pray pray from the depth of your heart there are many pending projects in our lives because of financial limitations there are many things we are unable to do as far as our divine assignments are concerned because of financial constraints rebuke that spirit i'm about to speak over your life hallelujah 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 can i tell you sincerely one of the reasons why we are able to serve god in truth by the mercies of god is because god has shown us mercy on this wise i can tell you integrity is difficult when you have financial problems just believe me when i tell you this now remember we've taught here when we teach on finances there are people who 
exaggerate it and it is all about the marketing of flesh money money let me have money just for the sake of the flesh that's not what we're saying but any sincere person who loves God knows that if something is wrong with your finances it can wreck your marriage there are do you know that there are children that stopped going to school since after the pandemic because their parents sincerely cannot offer it. and there are others who maybe have their jobs their jobs are still there they are paying them the salary is just that it is honestly not enough to solve the problems can I tell you this I've told you I prayed to God and I vowed and covenanted with God that I will never be the man of God who just focuses on your spiritual growth alone and then leave other aspects of your life to go down. Imagine that as you're standing right now, there's no food in my house. I'm going to carry a bowl and walk to you prophetically, not generally. I will walk to you. I will tell you as, as soon as I get to you, just don't even argue with me. I know what I've seen that made me come to you because of hunger so most of the people who are compromising on integrity may not necessarily be bad people when you pray for the grace for integrity pray for financial empowerment if you are empowered it will give you the leverage to be able to walk in integrity are we together now if someone comes to bribe you to change something in your office and is going to give you 100 million you can say no i'm standing for jesus you will go to heaven but you will still suffer on earth because of that that because of your integrity so you have to pray a time has come in the body of christ where we should not shy away from the necessity of financial empowerment you can be empowered and still be righteous you can still be empowered and love jesus are we together there are more compromises as a result of lack of resources than there are as a result of plenty resources are you ready to pray for favor please cry unto God in one minute father let favor come upon my life grant me financial rest the Lord put this in my heart this is part of the miracle service I must honor what he has given me please pray corporate rest financially personal rest financially Lord grant rest in the name of Jesus I'm tired of financial embarrassment. I'm tired of worrying about money. It's distracting my prayer life. It's distracting my word study life. Luck is introducing wrong relationships to my life. Grant me the grace to be empowered. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. God using men. To participate in your lifting God using men to participate in your destiny outside make sure you pray if this is all we do tonight it was worth it Lord the realities of the times will not catch up with me I am immune by knowledge immune by favor hallelujah Exodus 11 3 Exodus 11 3 I'm about to pray right now have I wasted your time tonight Exodus 11 3 please be patient I want you to return with results media are we still there are we together Exodus 11 3 read with me please everyone one to read and the Lord gave the people favor stop so people as a as a community can find favor not just an individual and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh huh. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. What was responsible for his favor? The Lord gave favor. There is a relationship between favor and greatness. Truly. You can be great by favor. I have taught you that who hates you does not matter. Naysayers can go, but who likes you? You are going to pray that God will make someone like you. It's not a carnal prayer in this wicked world that God will, will make someone endear to you genuinely with no strings attached. Lift your voice and cry to heaven. Believe me, one person who finds favor, who you find favor with, can give you a house, 
can give you all these things you are looking for it's not a license for laziness but it's an advantage in the kingdom let's tap into it lord grant me favor god can open untold doors into profitable relationships lord i'm tired of troublemakers in my life send help us is someone praying lord i'm tired of naysayers in my life send genuine help us hallelujah hallelujah let's save the time please prophetically stretch your hands here and let's begin to declare just for one or two minutes i'm going to pray go ahead and begin to declare we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every request are you praying Lord, they return as testimonies. Every praise is to our God. Every song of worship is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. One more time. Every praise. To our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the Bible says to be anxious in nothing. But it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You said we should let our request made, be made known unto God. Father, we have brought this as representations of our concerns. Grant us rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout a louder amen. amen. As I would always say in the name of Jesus, every prayer request here is turned into a testimony. Amen. supernatural testimonies most of the testimonies here require favor may that favor work for you in the name of jesus christ any human agent stopping answers to this prayer we clear them out of the way now and i decree and declare as we have spoken and as we have declared let it be so for you yes. you will return back with your testimony yes. in jesus name i pray yes. please lift your hands let me speak over your life thank you for your patience in the name of jesus i decree and declare this week by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has not been working everything that represents a disappointment I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare, may it begin to walk in your life. Yes. Hear me. The same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you. Where you need to live and go to, may nothing stop you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same way, when you left your home, there were many roads, but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place. Every confusion around your life, may God show you the exact thing to do now. In the name of Jesus. For all of you who are here, when you got to the gate, the gate did not close against you. Therefore, I declare, every gate that has closed against you i open it now in the name of jesus christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy 
the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you i prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers i say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around i decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore i pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of jesus christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes i decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in jesus name i pray let's keep standing may i request that we minimize movement the altar call does not take more than two minutes or three minutes please let's not distract those who are coming to jesus as much as possible there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus i came for this miracle service i've seen the hand of god but i need to make my ways right two people there are those who are saying apostle i've never made this decision i am making it for the first time there are others who are saying apostle i've made this decision but i need to rededicate my life to jesus please i'd like you to rush quickly there's no need cajoling you know that you need jesus make your way to the front don't wait for anyone to be the first be the first to come come to jesus koinonia celebrate them all the overflows move to your led screens following from your homes connecting by faith here is your chance to surrender everything to jesus please come very quickly i count one to five and i begin praying i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back you're joining them come quickly lift your right hand high above your head thank you so much for this bold decision you're still coming please come rush very quickly rush very quickly if you come after the prayer the prayers um if you didn't pray the prayer make sure that you tell the counselor so that they'll lead you say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i accept you into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i have the life of god and from tonight and forever i go forward ever and backward never i am a child of god i am saved in jesus name please keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit and they have confessed the lordship of jesus by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i decree and declare that the lord gives you a new beginning i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be established and grounded in righteousness from today you go forward ever and backward never 
in jesus name i pray amen god bless you for this great decision please follow the counselors they are waving the placard just follow them very quickly let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now two very important announcements and then we're done next week we're starting a a new series and i wanted to pay attention as this series come follow our social media platforms make sure that you follow the platform so that you can have updates and let me encourage you don't just follow koinonia services alone you can go online go to koinonia global you can listen to some of the teachings from the conferences that i travel to they can be very life transforming if you really intend for growth Thank God for the Koinonia meetings, but make sure you open up yourself to follow these extra services in the name of Jesus Christ. And then may I encourage you, please, I know some of you are into real estate. I'm just making this announcement. Um, we're, we're trusting God. God is granting us grace, but we're looking to make sure that soonest we have our own property and our own facility. We're really working at that. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, if, there's, if you are here, you are, you are into construction, you are an engineer, you are into real estate, in another Koinonia service, we'll be able to put together all of the engineers, architects. I hope that we'll be able to have you. I'll have a meeting with you. I'll have a word with you. But for now, um, you know about lands that are available. You work with the government. There's any assistance or anything you can provide. Please, um, after service, I want you to meet Mr. Abu. Please, Mr. Abu, stand. Let them see you everyone so you walk to him after the service anything related you want um to give us maybe you're, you're into sales of land and all of that and you want us to know about a property somewhere because of the size of the ministry we're looking for something really large and um, we have our own specifications as far as regions are concerned so please do well i'm announcing it openly we'll be glad you can see him after service um, maybe what will happen is after the service you can just stand here briefly so that if there are any people who are concerned you can just get the details and then we'll follow up God will give us a place soon in the name of Jesus and we'll have the liberty to express ourselves more than we are doing now to the glory of the name of the Lord we're making this arrangement because we really want to see you see that we've exhausted this facility right now outside there are more people outside than there are those inside are a very small fraction of those outside and the rainy seasons are coming so we're really working to put two and two by the way please if you have any advice any counsel from a professional experience of how we can manage the tides you're an engineer an architect please we're very open we don't know everything we're here to learn praise the name of the lord and and we'll be more than glad to listen to your professional advice as we just transit through this phase someday when we are in our permanent site you will look at today's photos and you'll be happy that you were part of history in the name of jesus thank you for your patience please rise i declare that the lord bless you in jesus name your week is a week of testimonies in jesus name i pray let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen god bless you see you on sunday
what we 